Now you will open up a new file page. Well, you can do it. Just for it. New. And you will name it whatever you want. And this will be work on the script. Make sure that you get rid of the. Huh? Oh, yeah. Okay, you can either have it portrait or landscape. We'll do landscape. Okay. <laughs> First, you need to make two circles. So, using the rectangle tool, click and drag until you get to the ellipse. Okay. So you're going to make one circle, and then you are going to double click on it and type in 0.5, and on the other one, 0.5, and push. Okay. So, you can go to your arrow tool, your selection tool, and you can make a circle because you don't need that. And then to make another one of these, you hold down the option key and you drag out. And there's two. Now, you go to your where your ellipse is and you go back to the rectangle tool. Make one rectangle, double click, and just put one and one and push OK. You can go to B to the other square. Now, you get the square and then you get the circle. And when you take the circle and you make it toward the intersection, look. The two green lines show that it's in the middle, and you do the same with the other one. You guys have about five minutes, okay? You see me? <laughs> okay. Now, to make it all one shape because it's a puzzle piece, you will highlight all the shapes together and go over here where it says Shape Builder Tool. Click that. Where it's shaded is where is one shape. So these are all different shapes. To make this circle go with the square, <laughs> you click right here in this half of the circle and you drag it into the square. See how it's all shaded? That means it's going to be one shape. <laughs> if you want this to be a cutout, you click right here and you drag away from the square. And you see it's a different piece. So you go back to your selection tool and you click outside of the, tray, the box, and then you click on this circle and you push the delete, and it makes a cutout. So you have one corner piece that you could use right there, and if you wanted to make another one, you could just click your option key and drag out, and that's it.